Hi brides and grooms, my name's Anna Cunningham and I'm from Sweet Hope Photography. Today I wanted to talk about your wedding, your budget, your finances and give you just a couple of ideas on things to save on and things to splurge on. It's always difficult to know where to put your money when you're going into a wedding. So here are a couple of ideas. Number one, I gotta say I am a little bit biased but the first thing that I really think you should splurge on is photography. Hello. You want to make sure that you get someone who is experienced, somebody who is going to capture everything that you want and somebody who you're really going to get along with. You can check out my other video on how to choose a wedding photographer. Um, but I think it's an amazing thing to splurge on because really at the end of the day, what else do you have? What else from that day after you've spent 20 or 30 thousand dollars, whatever it is, what do you have left in your hands? Pretty much nothing but your photos. So splurge on it. Make sure that you have those beautiful memories. The second thing, going along the same lines, would be a videographer. There is just some amazing work being done at the moment by videographers. And I think to be able to capture your day and see it in a story is just beautiful. I get online and I cry at wedding videos and I have never met the people. So I think it would be something really great to splurge on if you can. The third thing I think is your honeymoon. Do you know a wedding is amazing. Um, it's, it's absolutely a landmark day in your life. The honeymoon is the start of a marriage. And do you know what? Once you get married and you start getting into life, sometimes that time and the budget um, slips away from you and those holidays can get a little few and far between. So make a moment of it and spend some money on your honeymoon. And then, there's what should you save on? And this is what we all want to know, right? Well, I can't actually give you specific answers because I think the most important thing is for you guys to sit down and figure out what is important to you. What, am I, what are you going to spend money on that really says something about you and how you want the atmosphere of your day to go and not just what a bridal magazine says you should spend? You know, maybe if you guys are not particular car people, you don't need to hire a limo or a fancy old car to drive you around. You might decide that you don't need to have an order of service given out to every guest that comes to your wedding. Most people know how a wedding goes anyway. You might decide you don't need to have fancy invitations. For me, that's something super important. I just love, I have like a shoebox somewhere filled with wedding invitations that I've collected because I just think they're beautiful. I love beautiful paper, I love beautiful colors, and I think the invitation, um, you know, says something and sets the atmosphere for the wedding. But for some of you, that won't be important at all. You can get something off Etsy that you can pop your names on and send it out and do it super economically. So really, you need to figure out what is really important to you. Save on the things that aren't. I hope that is super helpful. If you're after a wedding photographer, you can email me at anna at sweethope.com.au. I would love to be part of your day.